Hi, welcome to my channel, The Divine Storm 369. Thank you for being here. I'm going to do a reading for you. Okay, so this is going to be a love reading. All right, so this is for um, relationships, twin flames, soulmates. Okay, and um, yeah, this is the Romance Angel deck. Let's go ahead and start with that. This is a general reading, you guys. So if you're interested in a personal and private reading, that information is down below each video in the description box below. Um, and the readings are very detailed. They are specific to you. You are able to ask specific questions, okay? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by pulling the feminine's energy in this reading, okay? So Spirit, please reveal to me the feminine's energy in this reading. Okay. And Spirit, please reveal to me the masculine's energy in this reading. Wow, we got two. Okay. All right. And you know what? I am sensing a third party in this situation automatically. So let's go ahead and make this a third party reading and pull the energy of um, the karmic. All right, so we do have quite a lot of reversals here. Start in my table, by the way. So, coming in, we have keep an open mind. It did come out in reverse. All right, so let's just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and your usual expectations. And here in the card, I am seeing three people. I'm seeing a masculine that is engaging in conversation with two feminines. So there is two feminines involved. I'm seeing a dove over one feminine shoulder, signifying divine connection, divine guidance, and also the angel on the top, signifying magic, divine guidance. Okay, but there is another feminine here that is not, um, does not have the dove, is not being divinely guided. Okay, so we know right off the bat, especially with this card coming out, that there is a third party situation. There is another feminine energy involved. Okay, so we did pull the card for them already before we even flipped them over. Okay, so yeah, I feel like, um, again, this is talking to two feminines, um, and this came out in reverse. So there's something here to where. This relationship feels like it's very different. Um, it's unusual. Okay, this masculine is not your usual type feminine and vice versa. This feminine is not this masculine's usual like type, you know, how people like have a type that they go for. Yeah, this is like different. Okay, um, I also feel like. This masculine feels like interested in both feminine. So we have here them wanting to make a choice. Okay. So we have this masculine needing to make a choice. While they feel very drawn and divinely guided to one, we have them holding back their feelings. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and express your love. It came out in reverse. Okay. So they're holding back. They're not expressing themselves. Um, the way that they want to or the way that they should. And then we also see with children that there could be children involved here. Okay, um, so this masculine might have a child with the karmic, all right? Or they just have children in general. Okay, so it's either that or, you know, there and I feel and or there is some like very immature behavior when it comes to loyalty. All right, so... There's a questioning here of loyalty, and I think that this feminine questions the masculine's loyalty, but I also think the masculine questions their loyalty, 
the feminine's loyalty. So this is a projection, okay? Um, for the karmic energy, we have you deserve love in reverse. You are lovable. So in the relationship with the karmic, they do not feel loved. This relationship makes them feel like they are unlovable, okay? And I think that... Um, yeah, I just feel like they could have children together um, is what I'm seeing here. But they do not feel loved in the connection. They do not feel like they can express themselves in this connection. And there's something there to where they feel this is what they deserve. And this goes back to like this usual type. So this masculine like has a type, right? And this karmic fits that type. Okay, this feminine does not, all right, but they feel very drawn to this feminine. Okay, they have feelings for this feminine, and I do think it was unexpected because they aren't that type, right? And so this masculine feels very conflicted now about what they should do, all right? Um, let's go ahead and get some tarot. Yeah, so this karmic is their usual type, okay? Um, and the divine feminine, again, is not. They've actually never met anyone like this divine feminine, okay? So it's like before they met you, they did not know that someone like you existed, all right? So let's go ahead and move this up. Spirit, please reveal to me. Tell me more about, and you know what? I want to pull tarot. Let's see. All right, Spirit, please reveal to me. Tell me more about this feminine. Tell me more about the feminine. All right, we got date. So you have been spending more time together with this masculine. I think that you would really like to get to know them better. Um, there is a very strong connection here. All right. Um, and you might have invited this masculine out. Um, you want them to actually open up to you. Okay. So you've invited them out to spend time with you, maybe go on a date, something like that, just to connect. All right. And it actually kind of feels like this masculine seems very closed off um, when it comes to actually spending time with you. Um, and when you invite them to do these things, and I think that they're very closed off to that idea. And the reason why is because they have this closed mind. Okay, so while they feel very drawn to you and there's this connection and there's this energy and spark when you two are together, um, it's like they have issues when it comes to taking action. So let's get a card here for the masculine. So yeah, we have rejection, male ego, resisting the connection with the divine feminine, rejecting the offers, rejecting their invitation to spend time together. They might even use children as an excuse as well. Like, oh no, I can't, you know, I have to do something with my kids or whatever. Um, so this masculine is literally not making any romantic gestures and they are rejecting all of this feminines, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the karmic energy. All right, we got ripped apart. Okay, vulnerable in love, love exposed the truth. So this karmic is extremely vulnerable about their relationship. Um, and that is the why, reason why they really treat this masculine this way. I do feel like this karmic has a problem with self-love. They have a problem with loving themselves. Um, they have a problem with feeling vulnerable, okay? Um, I also feel like this karmic is someone who isn't honest a lot of the times, okay? 
especially when it comes to about how they're feeling and their relationship. So this karmic is very vulnerable and they really have a tendency to project that vulnerability onto this masculine because they are having a hard time loving themselves. Then they feel like, you know, they want this masculine to feel also unlovable. So what is it about the karmic that makes them feel this way? All right, let's take a look. All right, so why does the karmic feel this way, spirit? Okay, because they have been living in a lack of integrity, a lack of values, a lack of morals. They have been living in a way in which they know it is not right. Okay, and so it leaves them questioning themselves. It leaves them um, having a hard time loving themselves. Okay, and they're projecting that outwards, making others feel um, rejected, making others feel unlovable, um, you know, because. They have been living in a situation that does not align with their values and morals. So something is off there. And let's see what that is. Okay, we got money spells. So this karmic may not, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down. So this karmic may not even be in this connection um, for love they're in this relationship for money and maybe they even had like children with this masculine for money okay to try to like keep them in a relationship we have divorce here so to me this is like the karmic feeling like they are living divorced from their heart divorced from their own emotions divorced from their own values their own morals okay so this karmic is not living in integrity all right, they're not being true to themselves. So we see a lot of um, projection here. This karmic projecting onto the masculine and the masculine projecting onto the feminine. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over. Sorry if you hear the noise in the background, like somebody's outside blowing leaves around. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the masculine, okay? We're going to read the masculine right now. Um, we're going to read everyone here. What did I do with my deck? I'm sorry. I have to pause and find my deck. And right when I said that, I paused it. So I didn't have to pause. Anyways, um, what is the masculine's thoughts towards the feminine? Okay, what is his thoughts towards the karmic? Go ahead and put them in this. All right, what is this masculine's emotions towards the feminine? And what are his emotions towards the karmic? So this is the mind and the heart space, and we will go into the intentions and the actions um, after this, but we're going to start here and we're going to go ahead and pull some more cards and we're going to use the hidden truth. Okay. All right. So we're going to pull a tarot for the thoughts the masculine has towards the feminine. And the thoughts the masculine has towards the karmic. Okay. And the emotions that they feel towards the feminine in their heart. And the emotions that they feel towards the karmic in their heart.
All right, so one more, you guys. We are gonna go ahead and get the hidden truth with these, and then we'll flip them over. So tell me more about the masculine's thoughts towards their feminine, their emotions. And the thoughts towards the karmic and the emotions. I feel like feminine, whoever this feminine is for this reading, you like to do your hair in very intricate like styles. Like you have all of these really good ideas and you do your hair in these um, really cool, I don't know, like really intricate styles that are really cool. Um, that's what I'm seeing about this feminine. But anyways, just an extra detail for you guys. So let's go ahead and flip all of these over. I can pick them up. Okay. that up this tree is so getting on my nerves you guys there we go <laughs> okay okay so we did see that the karmic is in this relationship for stability and that they definitely aren't living in their integrity their own values their own morals they're not being authentic um they're completely divorced from what their heart really wants and it's like the equivalent of selling your soul for money right um so anyways in the masculine's mind we have chemistry okay this is a twin flame card so they're thinking about the chemistry that their feminine and them have together it is strong it is intense and the more they try to reject it the more overwhelming it becomes the more they can't resist it and we have the ten of wands sagittarius energy all right so there is a strong magnetic attraction between you so not only is there a strong chemistry but they are extremely attracted to you we see the feminine clothed in red in this picture and you know to me the red in this picture and you're also clothed in red here symbolizes that um passion passion sexual desire um you know heat um all of the that fire and wand and desire energy and it's like with the red like the more they try to look away the more they feel so drawn to you. And so it's like a magnet. They can't resist. They can't help but look at you. When you walk into the room, their eyes can't help but follow you. Okay? So there is a strong magnetic um, attraction there. And it is so overwhelming. It is becoming burdensome. Okay? So this masculine wants to look for answers. We have unawakened next to it. They want to look for answers. What is this pool? What is this um, chemistry that I've never felt before but is like overwhelming my thoughts, is taking over my mind? Um, so a lot of times they can't think of anything other than this feminine. And it's like this energy, once they have met you, it's like it has come in and just smacked them in the face. Like there is no ignoring it. There is no turning away. Um, the more they try to ignore it, the more energetically it kind of sticks to them in their aura and the more this desire grows and grows and grows okay so we also have in the mind i do love you all right so there is a feeling of love here it's a strong feeling of love this is like love at first sight 
a love that just came into their life, locked in and hit them in the face and they didn't even know what to think. It, they didn't have time to think. Okay, so it's overwhelming to them and um, they can't help but feel attracted. They can't help but feel pulled. Okay, so this is love at first sight and they do know that in their mind. Um, but it's overwhelming to them. It's a little bit painful for to them. And I think that this masculine is someone who's never really believed in love at first sight until it happened to them. And it was unexpected. Okay. And it feels a lot differently than they ever thought it would feel. It feels so intense, so powerful that once they have met you, they can't turn away no matter how hard they try. Okay. And um, they're wondering, is this love? Because to me, it feels like love. It feels like something so powerful, um, right? Like that's how they're feeling. So they are on their mind feeling that they are in love with you. And sexually, they only desire you. And it's becoming a burden. This desire that is in their aura, um, actually like the tension, that sexual tension like in their body, um, it's like it won't go away. They just want to be closer and closer to you, all right? Um, so they don't feel like any release of this passion and desire. They only feel this buildup because they have been rejecting how they truly feel towards you and it's weighing on them like a weight, like a burden. Okay, so very heavy energy. I feel like we should get a clarifier here. Okay. So let's take a look. What is it about you that draws them towards you so much? Like, what is it that they just can't get enough of about their feminine? Let's take a look at that. Okay. Oh, we have two. Okay. All right. So first of all, we have change. Okay. So we see the wind and we see the little owl sitting in the tree, the white owl, which symbolizes wisdom and, you know, soul growth. And with change here, it's like you're so different than anyone else they have ever met before and there's something about you that feels so familiar and recognizable to their soul and it feels like there's this initiation taking place within themselves and it's all due to somehow meeting you and so this is why they're searching for answers and this is why they have such a weight on their mind because um, they feel like there's just something more and they want to know what that is. Okay, so they're going through this alchemical transformation, this change, although they are not yet awakened to your connection. All right, we also have guardian angel. Um, so one of the things that I'm hearing about you, feminine, is that your appearance, like the way that you look, there's a certain innocence about you. And um, also something about your appearance that is very angelic. So this masculine sees you as very angelic and almost like um, this beautiful spiritual like protector or guardian, you know. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's just such a change from what they're used to experiencing. And then I'm seeing the red here. Um the outline of her shirt is red. She's carrying a basket with red. Okay, so I'm noticing the red. There's berries in the back that are red. So it's like so alluring. Again, that's their desire. And there's something about your energy that's so like pure, angelic, um, and innocent that is 
so like alluring to them because again it's so different from the people that they are used to being around so they see you as this beautiful earth angel and that you even look like an angel and we have love here so there's something about the way that you care about others and the way that you love that is um very divine to them in their eyes okay um but there's something also again i'm seeing the hair feminine what do you do to your hair it's something really cool like i would love to see that because i'm seeing that you do all of these like really cool hairstyles and you put different things in the hair um anyways it's very unique and definitely i feel like you should do something with that because it's very creative um but yeah, we also have beauty. So they are struck by your beauty, feminine, um, honestly. And they love the way you look. Like they love your beauty. Um, and again, they see you as very angelic as well. So um, they find you very, very beautiful. Okay. And it's like on a level that's unmatched. So they see you as like the most beautiful woman that they have ever met that they have ever seen like this divine angel walking this earth and they just feel blessed to have seen you but it's like they really hold back okay they really hold back and again it feels like that love at first sight i think i do love you that's the energy we have here however let's see how they're feeling or their thoughts i'm sorry we're still on the mind towards the karmic we have healing family issues okay um, and it says, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so I think that this masculine, I definitely think there's children involved here, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing a little earth sign, baby. So there's definitely children involved here. And I feel that this masculine does try to work things out with a karmic for the sake of the children. Okay. Um, and I do think that this, before they met you, okay, this is the download that I'm getting. So before you came into the picture, Feminine, this was a rocky situation between the masculine and the karmic, okay? Um, and it's never good. If your heart is not in a relationship, the relationship isn't going to feel good and you're not going to feel fulfilled either person if your heart isn't truly in it and um that's what's happened here so it was never really good and i think there was a point where the connection was so bad that it was actually like i'm seeing the child in the situation suffer crying okay over the parents fighting things like that and um i think this masculine has been trying to fix things, has been trying to change things for the sake of the child. So they're open to change. They want things to change. However, the change that has been happening within them is not the change that they expected. Okay, they did not expect you to walk into their life. They did not expect you to walk into their life and start this alchemical process of spiritual change. But, you know, they ask spirit for change. They did. Okay, and here it is. It has come into their life, but completely unexpected. And so they're supposed to have this new start, this new beginning with this karmic. All right, a steady union um, to make this love better, right? And for the sake of the child, okay, but there is an issue here. This masculine has been having trouble with intimacy okay for quite some time for at least over the past year is what i'm seeing here all right so they have been having problems sexually with this karmic being intimate with this karmic and i think that it got to a point between them that they thought it was something wrong with them like they believed there was something wrong with them physically, you know, um, health-wise in regards to this, okay, until they've just realized they were wrong, 
they realize that because you've walked into their life and now all of a sudden they feel passion, they feel desire, they feel it running through their bones, running through their veins, they feel like their heart pumping, their veins like heating up from the all of the blood pumping their body temperature rising around you like they know now it's not because of the karmic okay so um they know now that it is not trouble with intimacy or sexual intimacy physical intimacy right with the ace of pentacles that um that actually isn't true however this karmic believes that and they even believe that for a very long time, okay? So you walking into this situation, you are opening their eyes, okay? They're like, so that's not it. Then what is it? Am I in love with this feminine? Like, is this what love is supposed to feel like? Is this what I'm supposed to feel for the karmic? Because I don't. I don't feel that for the karmic, right? I don't feel that chemistry. I don't feel that spark, that desire. I don't feel the heat. I don't feel any of that. And that very thought is what has become that burden. Okay, now they feel conflicted. Now they don't know what to do because they are feeling torn. So they're like, I wasn't supposed to fall in love with someone else. I wasn't supposed to have this desire for someone else. But here I am, Nine of Swords. I do, right? And um, where do I go from here? And why do I feel this way? So they're researching, okay, Sagittarius. They're looking for wisdom in this connection. They're looking for spiritual wisdom, okay, ideas as well, all right? So in the emotions for the feminine, we have codependence. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right, then we also have unawakened. They don't totally understand their love for you. And that's something we've been reading about. They don't understand it. And they are in a codependent relationship with this karmic, okay? But they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop daydreaming about you. Um, they can't stop feeling this chemistry, this rush every time you enter into their mind, okay? So that's where they stand with you. Conflicted. They're like, I don't know what to do. What is this? What is this magic? What is this, um, you know, energy? They feel so drawn to it um, at the same time, but it's like they're trying to resist it. So we have the emotions here for the karmic. It is safe for you to love. After all that's happened in this connection, they no longer feel safe opening their heart to this person. And that's where the intimacy issues are actually stemming from in this connection because they don't feel like they can open themselves, allow themselves to be vulnerable with this person okay because they have attacked them they have made them feel like unlovable so this masculine's heart has actually been closed to this karmic okay and that's something they haven't realized they believe that they have been in this with an open heart but their heart has actually been closed and it wasn't until this feminine walked in and they met this feminine that their heart actually did open for the first time so that's why they're feeling all of this intensity but it's also become a kind of nightmare situation for them okay so um there is a lot of sorrow there's regret here and you know there's guilt all right and i think that what they want overall is to talk to this karmic okay um but this is a situation that they cannot feel happy happy in okay and they do not feel safe opening their heart only to allow it to be crushed and stomped on right um is how they feel and we have i miss hearing your voice so they don't even talk anymore right and they feel like this karmic has become another person 
And sometimes when you're in such a toxic relationship, you know, for long periods of time, it, it definitely does change you. You do become a different person because your personality is made up of all types of different experiences that you've been through. And so experiencing all these new experiences, you do change. Your personality does become different. And it's like this masculine is at this reckoning, realizing that them and this karmic are both two different people at this point. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the intentions. What is the masculine's true intentions for the feminine? All right, so look at that. We have another twin flame card here, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if there's a feminine out there, you came into this reading with the question, is this my twin flame? Is this my soulmate? Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, and this masculine feels that in their intuition. All right, um, so their intention is to connect to you more because honestly, they feel that they really don't have a choice, that they're just drawn to this like destiny. Okay, um, and let's go ahead and see their intentions towards the karmic. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you. You, This masculine is getting all kinds of signs from spirit, red flags um, about this karmic that it is not going to work, okay? Um, so there's red flag after red flag after red flag here. And spirit is trying to show this masculine that they have nothing to be guilty of, that sometimes relationships don't work and that's okay. Sometimes it's more painful to try to make them work than it would be to just let them go for everyone involved. All right, and here we have a child involved who doesn't deserve this. So let's get another card for the intentions towards their feminine. Nine of pentacles. All right, so again with the red, so this is freeing themselves from um, the commitment with the karmic and, you know, pursuing something with this feminine. And it may not be a commitment, but um, it is experiencing some sort of security in your relationship, okay? Um, and feeling loved, feeling secured in the soulmate relationship. So let's get a hidden truth. All right, so this person is still healing, okay? They are in a lot of pain. They've been in a lot of pain with this karmic, and this is a painful situation they're going through. You know, sometimes it is painful to have, like, an awakening, and it doesn't matter in what way you have that awakening. It could still be very painful and shattering even. And so this masculine um, would like love, would like support, um, without the commitment because this masculine feels that they need time to process and heal, okay? Um, and they just want to follow their heart for once. And we have Capricorn here. And, you know, I think it's not going to be easy to heal what this masculine has been through, but we see an effort being made with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at their intentions with the Karmic. So they're noticing the red flags. What is the red flags about? It's about money, that this karmic is overly focused on money and they're choosing money over love and that money is actually affecting their love life because guess what? That's all this relationship has ever been about. That's all this karmic has ever wanted was money. And when this masculine doesn't bring them enough money, they tell them that they're worthless, that they're useless, that they're not able to provide for their family. They demasculate them. They tell them that they must be really crappy at their job. They must be really dumb, whatever it is, just insulting them. Why? Because all they care about is some money. So if you're not bringing that to them, then they're going to make you 
feel extremely crappy to the point to where you will almost do anything to get that money to give to them just to feel that validation. So this is mind tricks and this is asshole, assholery, <laughs> right? So I don't know. I just made that up. Um, <laughs> let's get another card. This is assholery. Okay, let's get another <laughs> for the intentions here. So they're going to be paying extra attention here to this because the signs have been sticking out to them. All right. And, you know, this masculine is like, I don't really know what you want, but it seems like you're just not happy unless I'm giving you a ton of money. Like money is the only thing that makes you happy. It doesn't matter if I reach out to you. It doesn't matter if I give you my heart. It doesn't matter if I spill my guts, if I sweep you off off your feet, if I, you know, do all of these loving things for you, all you want or seem to be focused on anyways is money. All right, so they're starting to find out this karmic's real intentions and what they really want. This masculine has never felt love, true love with them because it's never been about love. It's always been about money. Now you have someone walk into your life who wants love, okay, who is living in their integrity, who is living um, in their own values and morals and will not compromise their heart or soul or sell it out for money the way this karmic has done. So that is why they are experiencing this chemistry with this feminine, not the karmic as well. All right, so actions. This is going to be the actions this masculine will take, okay, towards the feminine. So let's get a card. Right, and the actions they will take towards the karmic. Okay. So what actions will they take towards the karmic? Let's do that first. Deception. All right. So this is lying. This is not being honest. This is hiding things. And I think that this masculine is going to pursue something with this feminine. However, they're going to hide it from the karmic. Okay. Um, let's get another card. divine timing so they're waiting for the right time to expose this okay that is how they feel so yeah this is deception towards the karmic because they feel it's not the right timing so they're waiting on the perfect moment and maybe they're waiting on you know them to fully make that decision all right but yeah they wonder how the karmic really feels about them and that's what they're trying to figure out they want to know for sure for sure, this karmic has been using them and in this relationship for money, like they're going to be looking for proof, okay? And I'm sure they don't have to look too far. So for the feminine, the actions they're going to take, we have this could be the one. This could actually be my soulmate, not the karmic. You know, I think this is the one I'm meant to be with. So they're saying, I've already met the romantic partner I seek. Okay, so again, I feel they're going to pursue this with the feminine. Okay, and they feel in their heart, this is the one for them. They know it. They feel it. And no matter what, it's like their heart is just awakened, you know? And it's like they can't deny that feeling. They can't deny that you're the one who has woke their heart up. All right, so they can't deny that you are the one for them. They know it, and they're going to take actions towards you. All right, so let's get another card. Three of Swords. So this definitely involves a breakup, okay, a third-party situation. They would like to pursue the third-party situation and actually keep it from this karmic, but um, they're waiting for the right time to actually walk away break away from a third-party situation and their heart is already telling them you are the one to choose 
okay? All right, but for now, they're hiding their feelings, okay? Um, they're not ready to come forward anytime soon. Um, they're still figuring a lot out within themselves, okay? And they just need the time to do that. And they are doing it. So what does spirit want to tell you about their energy towards you and this whole situation? All right. So feminine, this is actually a message from your masculine coming through. All right. So this is something that they know you feel. They're saying, I know you feel this in your heart the same way that I feel in my heart. So just look deep within it. And you're going to feel my love because I feel it. I have felt that love since the moment I laid eyes on you. And I know that you feel it back. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay. It can never be drained away. It can never be depleted. All right. That's how deep it is. So there is a deep spiritual love here because feminine, you were the key that unlock their heart and awaken them spiritually you led them down the spiritual journey and so there is going to be a deep deep appreciation and love and gratitude towards you at the end of this okay so really quickly you know let's go through what the karmic is you know thinking about this masculine what is their thoughts We got religious factors in reverse. Let's take a look at the emotions they feel towards them, okay? We have flirt. What is their real intentions? Separation in reverse. And the actions the karmic will take. All right, so this karmic is actually very immature. It's very hard for them to be serious about anything. Um, with religious factors, this karmic doesn't believe in anything. They don't have any spiritual beliefs. This is a very atheistic um, energy. And I think that um, what they believe in and what they really worship is money. Money is what makes the world go round to this karmic. That's all they care about. All right. And nothing else matters. Nothing else is serious to them. Okay. Um Let's go ahead and get some more cards. So, and their thoughts. The Hierophant. Yeah, this, they, they do not have any spiritual beliefs, okay? Um, so it's really lacking here. And I think that they may have even lied about that um, with the masculine, like said that they did or whatever, but they don't. Like this person worships money. Okay, and we see a lot of that, you know, in our time. Like, we see a lot of that everywhere. We see, like, um, just, for instance, celebrities, you know, worshiping money, buying each other extremely expensive cars and um, clothes and shoes and, you know, treating people like they're nothing unless they wear, like, a $10,000 outfit or something ridiculous or even more money. Who knows? But, um, you know, that's worshiping money. That is worshiping material. And guess what? That money that you're worshiping is going to be worthless one day, right? And um, then what? Right? So, yeah, we see that a lot. We see rappers worshiping money, um, you know. And just basically anybody who has any influence is out there worshiping money on some level, you know, putting money over the greater good, putting money over everything else. This is a worship of money, only caring, caring about money. And this karmic is the same way. All right. We have you broke my heart in reverse. So this karmic in their mind, they're like, you really cannot hurt me anymore because you broke my heart in the past and I no longer believe in us anymore. So they're saying, I don't believe in a higher power and I don't believe in us anymore because you've already hurt me in the past. Okay. 
We also have flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. This karmic is a huge flirt. They flirt with a lot of different people as well. Okay. Um, and again, it's like they just don't really have. I thought they weren't living in their integrity and values and morals, but they really don't have them is what I'm seeing here. So they don't really have any morals or values. You know, they have no like beliefs or guidelines to go on. Um, let's card here. Seven of Cups, okay? So they actually flirt with a lot of people, okay? They have a lot of different options, okay? Um, I don't know why, but I'm hearing role-playing. This karmic might be into like role-playing games or something like that. So let's get another card here. I have Scorpio. I have Taurus here. All right, we got I want to make amends, okay? So this karmic is a huge, huge flirt, okay? And um, I think that they consistently get caught flirting, all right? And um, they're like, oh, it's nothing, it's not serious, that type of energy, you know? But it's just constant deception, constant lies. Um, they have no values, no integrity, so they do not care. They They do not have any when it comes to a relationship either so this is someone who kind of treats their relationship or marriage they could be married as like an open relationship even though it's not it's not an open relationship but they treat it that way we have separation in reverse okay so they want to in their intentions prevent separation all right they want to work things out but they're not serious about working it out okay really they're not they're like okay Tell me what you need me to do. We'll work things out and I'll do it. Okay, but they're not serious when they say that. All right, they never have been serious. They actually don't care. So they just don't want to be left alone, I think. Let's go ahead and get a card for the intentions. Page of Pentacles. So they're very immature. This person wants someone to take care of them. That's what it is. Okay, so they want money. They're focused on money because they want someone to take care of them. All right. So, yeah, they don't take anything seriously because they see they're like in this very childish energy. All right. So they don't want a partner. They want someone to take care of them like a child. And they are very immature. Look, we got different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision or values or morals or anything. Okay. So yeah, two different pages. The actions, playfulness, they're not serious about this. They're not, okay? They are like a child. They think like a child or they see themselves as a child, even though they're not. And they just want this masculine to take care of them. And they will lie to get that. We got the king of swords, okay? So yeah, they will lie to get that king of swords. say whatever it takes and my god i wish we could go back so there is times that this karmic wishes they could go back in the past before you know all of the heartbreak and different things they've done to each other and fix it but they know that they can't it's just they're written on different pages now and there is no going back and that's just the truth that's just the truth okay so what does spirit want to tell you about this connection All right, and if you're interested in a reading like this one, this would be a third party reading, except for we would read the Divine Feminine Energies too. So everyone would get read here, and it's like two readings at one and one. So you get the Twin Flame reading, and then you get the Karmic reading too. You get everyone read in all different ways. So we have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend time alone Instead of placing your focus on one another, now's the time to give to yourself and focus on yourself. And that is the way to move forward. That is the way that you find the answers, not putting your focus on another. Okay. So. Let's see what the angels want to tell you. Okay. Whoever's watching, let's get a message from the angels. 
since we have the romance angels out already. All right, we got power of joy. Oh, look how cute. I love this card. It's so cute. So yeah, know that you're allowed to be happy. You're allowed to let joy into your life. You're allowed to choose happiness no matter what kind of situation you are in, okay? And artistic expression that could really help right now just to, especially when you're like, closed off and you're trying not to express yourself or you're hiding your feelings because you have to or whatever, you know, um, putting those emotions through um, an artistic expression can really bring so much joy to you. So I feel like someone here is meant to express themselves artistically and that is going to bring you the joy that you feel like you've been missing. Um, okay, so someone here has been feeling like they've been missing something in their heart and this is because you've been you have not been expressing yourself artistically and that is going to bring you a lot of joy you've been missing okay, so that's a message for someone Let's see if we can get any other messages okay we got overcoming difficulties and courage okay so somebody is going through a very hard time right now and it's like you don't feel strong you don't feel like you're able to go up against what is faced in front of you you feel like things are too hard and that you're not able to overcome and i think someone is feeling that things are too difficult right now um but it says here the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Okay, so just be courageous because you are courageous. You have that courage inside of you. And somebody here is meant to hear the message that you are meant to stand up for your beliefs. Okay, stand up for your beliefs. And um, don't worry about any previous challenges in front of you. Because with your courage and with you standing up for yourself, speaking um, your mind standing up for what you believe in. All other challenges and difficulties are going to break away through that. Okay, so you are courageous and you have the power and the ability to overcome what's facing you. So that's for someone else. Let's get another card here. Let's get one more message for someone. And these are just kind of individual little messages. Visualize success. Okay, that's too many. We got three. We got release and sacral chakra. Okay, so I think that um, somebody has definitely been struggling with success, um, not able to succeed not able to overcome difficulties in order to succeed and i think this is coming from a certain mindset that you have is what spirit is wanting to tell you okay so you can start changing that mindset by visualizing your own success and seeing yourself doing well in your situation and also having faith in a positive outcome so spirit is saying part of the reason why you've been having trouble succeeding is because you don't believe you can succeed and you don't have any faith in a positive outcome and spirit is asking you to release that negativity okay um and also work with archangel michael to help you to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose in this mindset and feeling like you're you know destined to fail is not helping you and you can ask archangel michael to help you to cut those cords and release that um, because it's not serving you right now you need to be visualizing your success okay and we also have sacral chakra here so right now you're also very highly sensitive to any chemicals any additives any processed food um so 
if you're you might be breaking out in rashes as well i do feel like there's a buildup of toxins inside of you not only toxins but negative energy and this is stemming from you believing that you cannot succeed you believing that um you're destined to fail and really just kind of being pessimistic about yourself and um so i think that your body is also reacting very harshly to any other harsh things around you okay so right now you need to respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items harsh situations people and relationships so take yourself out of those harsh environments situations relationships so that you can release that harsh energy and i think that people have been very harsh on you in the past and you've carried that harshness with you against yourself and so you tell yourself you can't succeed or something's too hard or you automatically expect a negative outcome you know and so you're having a hard time manifesting success but spirit is saying release that and also clear the sacral chakra um do some grounding work as well and find some meditations you know on youtube to clear that sacral chakra okay but now is time to visualize your success not the other way around okay so that is the reading i have for you and some little individual messages for some of you at the end if any of it resonated with any of you please leave me a comment down below um if you want to be notified hit the bell like and subscribe you guys you never know when i'll be telling your story or your masculine story next so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.